Hey everybody, and welcome to part three of the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. Uh, last episode, we took a look at some of Lightburn's general settings and how to kind of reproduce a more easy CAD-like experience. Uh, and I also said last episode that we were going to be taking a look at some of the machine settings, but it occurred to me that we may have to jump back and forth between EasyCAD in order to get some information from EasyCAD to make sure this is all set up the way that it should be. So uh, before we get into this, I just want to take a minute and show you the fastest way to swap back and forth between EasyCAD and Lightburn. And it's actually really easy. Um, we don't even need to close Lightburn, <laughs> let alone uninstall it. So there's uh, really just very limited work that needs to be done here. Uh, we're just going to come here and minimize Lightburn for a minute, and we're going to pull up the device manager. Uh, so device manager, there it is. And once we have the device manager open, we're just looking for this universal serial bus devices. Uh, Lightburn uses a very generic USB driver in order to run the EasyCAD controller. And so if we uninstall this device, um, we'll just want to check this box right here. Attempt to remove the driver for this device. We can check it and hit uninstall. And it's going to go ahead and uninstall that device for us. If it asks you, it asks you if you want to restart, you can just go ahead and click no. And if you've already installed the EasyCAD drivers before, we can click scan for hardware changes and the BJJCZ device is going to pop up right here and you can just jump into EasyCAD. Uh, if you haven't already installed the EasyCAD drivers, you'll have to do that and you can download those from lasereverything.net. We've got them up there in both the 32 and 64 bit variety, but uh, if you've already installed the drivers, they should just pop right back up, uh, which is super easy. So we can come up here, come into EasyCAD, and we'll just go ahead and start EasyCAD. And as you can see, we don't get any weird dog errors or anything. It starts right up. We're able to access our machine settings so we can get any details out of here that we need to get. Uh, I recommend coming in one time and just taking screenshots, especially look out for this ports page. Uh, if you have certain ports marked like the start marking IO, you'll want to take note of those. Also in your laser control, uh, your min-max uh, frequency here is going to be important and the serial that you're using. Uh, and we'll talk more about that next episode. But I just wanted to show you how to quickly get back to EasyCAD. Uh, once you're done, going back to Lightburn, again, is super easy. So if we take a look in Lightburn right now, we can see that the laser is showing as disconnected. And that's because it can't find those USB drivers that it was using. Replacing those is super easy. We're going to use a program called Zadig. It's right here, Zadig 2.7. You can find it with a super quick Google search. So if we open up Chrome, we can do Zadig USB download. So here it is, zadig.akio.ie. I'll link this in the description uh, and you can download it here. It's Zadig 2.7 is the most recent version. It's not an installer. It just runs right out of the file that you download. And if we double click it, and we approve of the security warning. Uh, all we have to do is come to options and click list all devices. And then we're going to drop this down and we're going to find our LMC V2 or whichever uh, easy CAD board that you're using. And we're going to select that. And then we're not going to touch anything else. So we've got win USB right here. That's exactly what it needs. And we're going to click replace driver. And this process can take anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes. So just be patient, let it do its thing. Um, we'll watch it happen down here in the device manager, which we've left open on purpose. So you can see that the BJJCZ drivers are gone and the USB LMC V2 is shown back up under universal serial bus devices. So that's perfect. Uh, we'll just let this finish finalizing. And when it's finished, we'll get this message. The driver was installed successfully. So we can hit close and we can close the dig. And when we open Lightburn back up, we can see that the laser is ready to go. It can find the laser again, and everything is back to the way that it was. So uh, very easy, guys. It's very, very easy to swap back and forth between EasyCAD and Lightburn when you need to. Uh, so if for some reason you have a project in EasyCAD you need to pull up, you can just go back to EasyCAD for that one project and then come back to Lightburn. You don't have to uninstall Lightburn. You don't have to do too much with drivers. Uh, again, the best way to do it, device manager, right? If you uninstall this uh, and you already had the EasyCAD drivers installed, it's just action. Scan for hardware changes and it should come right up. If for whatever reason the EasyCAD drivers don't just pop up automatically, just reinstall them. Um, we have a video on that. 
I'll link to all the relevant videos in the description. So uh, if you're confused on a certain step, go ahead and check that out below. But um, I, I just wanted to point that out. So uh, with that done, next episode, we will finally dive in and talk about some of these device settings, uh, relevant videos, and how to just make sure that this is all set up correctly. So that's all I've got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. If you got value out of this one, guys, don't forget to smash the like button, let everybody else know the content is good, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we add to the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. If you want to join the Laser Everything community, hang out, talk about all these cool new features and stuff that we've got going on with Lightburn for Galvo, there are links to our absolutely 100% free Facebook group and Discord server down in the description, right next to the link to the Laser Master Academy, the number one way to support the channel. So if you want to support the channel and help us continue doing what we love doing here, which is teaching you guys how to use your lasers, uh, consider signing up. It starts at eight bucks a month and every dollar of it goes to making sure that we can continue to do what we love to do. And uh, we, we really do love doing it so much. And all of the information that we put out on the YouTube channel for everyone for free is thanks to our members over at the Laser Master Academy. If you want to go check that out, you can sign up right now over at Masters dot laser everything dot net hope to see you over there and i hope you enjoy the next episode of the lightburn for galvo crash course